time. Is it you, John? Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes, of course it's me. But you were dead. I saw you. The guy you saw was a man named Eddie, an American. They did a plastic surgery job on him. They made him into my double. It was perfect. Double? You might be the... Yes, I might be. But I'm not. Look, I haven't got much time. What I have to do to convince you? You want to talk about people we both know? Martin Villiers, Sir Roger Humphrey, Fox Stewart, you call it. They might know those people. What about Edna? What about her? Edna O'Brien, the cleaning woman. She left us six months ago. She had a daughter named Michelle who worked as a bluebell at the Paris Lido and a husband who hadn't worked in ten years, and she talked too much. Oh, Jim. Uh, it's all right. It's all right now. I'm so afraid. It's all right. Just tell me what's going on. Well, I don't know too much myself. Like I say, this guy, Eddie, um, he was a complete ringer for me. I did a switch. They don't know it yet, but they killed Eddie instead of me. And now they think you're Eddie. That's right. I'm being trained to walk and talk and think like John Mannering. But why? Why go to all this trouble? Well, I don't know the whole story yet. That's why I'm playing along. But I can tell you they're planning the biggest robbery of all time. Do you know what it is? He won't believe it. They want to knock over the British crown jewels. Fox Stewart from security's handling the search for me. Did you get him this address? Yes, I telephoned Fox Stewart. I left the message. I can't understand why he's not here. Well, he'll come when he thinks the time is right. Look, I've got to get back to my room. We'll just have to play it by ear for a while. Don't worry, I'll be close. Have you any idea what they're planning to do to me? In a way. Sooner or later, they're going to order me to kill you. I don't want to sound selfish, but Dan made too good a job of it. See you. Mm. 